bringing it to the teacher level is, is huge. And directly related to the planning process is, is that um, our school improvement goals aren't decided by me and or my leadership team. Um, they are determined by a, a thorough analysis of the data with the team that will be owning that goal. So the third grade team and I sit down and look at the second grade data from the year previous, look at what information we have on these third graders that are sitting in front of us right now, and determine what percent of these students do we think we can get to proficient or above, and that's the goal that, that lands on our school improvement plan, our unified improvement plan. Within that, I, I think another way that we use data, I'm sure very similar to my colleagues, is that that goal setting doesn't s stop there. That's where it starts. Uh, I think too often um, goals are set far from where decisions are actually made in front of students. And so once grade levels have determined, yes, this is what we are going to achieve this year, we then use data to break down what we call focus groups or focus kids. And, um, Individual classroom teachers um, are um, encouraged, obligated, compelled uh, to have uh, three to six um, focus kids in reading, writing, and math that they will pay attention to for that month, that six weeks, or whatever. So within that universal instruction, within that 72% of our kids are going to be reading at grade level in third grade, now the classroom teacher, as she looks out at those 26 kids, knows that if I move those three to six kids this month, I'm more likely to get to that goal. So I think that's one important way that we use the data um, instructionally, but also to progress monitor um, at, a, at a larger level. Uh, lastly, I would say that anything that we're willing to collect on a kid, um, the, the student's going to know about. Um, and, and bringing it down, as you said, to that to that level of, of student ownership. Um, we've got to care about each other and care about our kids enough to tell them where they stand. Um, I can love you to <coughs> death, but if I'm pretending that you're not two years below grade level, then I'm doing you an injustice. And so developing those relationships, not just with the students, but with the families, um, and, and, and uh, building from that, I, I think is a huge data component.